All right, here we go. Number six. Uh, we're looking at uh, retired scout badges. Ooh. Due to the changing times, they no longer exist. So oh. here's the very first one. Matron housekeeper. It was awarded <laughs> to young girls. <laughs> who how to wash I that one. <laughs> vacuum, uh, dust, probably never clean ordered dishes, that one. polished silverware. They were also expected oh. to learn the price of meat and sugar. Oh yeah. How to shop for those items and how to prepare them for the family meals. The matron housekeeper badge didn't last long. It was around from 19. <laughs> 15 to 19, oh, that's too bad. The name is a little rough, too. Yeah. Times have changed. All yeah. useful skills. Yeah. <laughs> Come Polish on. Polish and silverware. Yep. Lost art. Number five, it's been one year since the so called Great it Resignation, where so many people left their jobs. And according to a new survey from bankrate.com, the trend is continuing. More than half of employed people are likely to look for new jobs in the next year. The study claims more people want the ability to work from home, more flexible hours and higher pay. Mm -hmm. All right, number four, sleeping next to a partner who snores can be a nightmare. We found some products that might help because that's what we do. Yeah. We help. You might want to try a sleep headband. Okay. It comes in nine colors and it has a built-in playlist so you can drift off to sleep listening to soothing sounds, your favorite tunes, or anything that drowns out those loud snoring noises nice. of the person next to you. It also has a rechargeable battery. The sleep headband is $19.99 on Amazon. Oh. Why should I wear a headband? Shouldn't that other person go get a CPAP machine? Yeah. Why would I have to wear a headband? Well, that's a lot yeah. easier than wearing a CPAP machine. So, so yeah. I should wear a headband? Yeah. You're the one complaining. Yeah. That poor guy is just trying to he's sleep. He's sleeping yeah. just fine. What are you picking on him for this morning? We're going to take a pillow and just put it over his face <laughs> for a couple of seconds. <laughs> I think she had thought about uh, that. Your knee. Just like, uh, yeah. Sometimes yeah. I just Stick punch them really hard, yeah. though. Yeah. That usually right. wakes them up. Well, the good thing about those is they come in nine colors. So that's yeah, going to... That really makes that's a difference. That's really why you should wear it more pink. than yeah. anybody yeah. else. And there's always okay. divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, it's almost rhubarb season, and oh, there's so many ways yeah. to celebrate it. Oh, yeah. Why do we celebrate the rhubarb? Here's why. It's a true spring vegetable, mm. and one of the few that is truly seasonal. If you've ever had one, now is your chance. Just be sure to bite into the vibrant pink stalk, or yeah, use that yeah. portion to cook with, because that's the edible part, yeah. so you don't want to eat mm. the rest oh, of it. Oh, look at that beautiful pie. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That girl is Number two, where you stand in the confined space says a lot about you. Some elevator scientists did a study. They found that older, more established men like to place themselves in the back of the elevator cabin. Younger men like to take the middle spot, and women of all ages and social status like to stand in the front yeah, closest to the door. You want to get out of there as quickly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> full of men. And that's maybe why the men are standing in the back to check out the women. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's Without not them off. knowing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of the men looked at the mirrors to see themselves. Most of the women looked at the mirrors to keep an eye on other yeah. people. Uh, yeah. See? Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, we're getting a little terrible. close in there. <laughs> men are the worst, aren't it's they? Biology. <laughs> yeah. It's biology. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, number one, let's talk about the Operation Game with this vintage ad from the 70s and a cautionary tale for future inventors out there. It's my turn to operate. Operate? Uh, Butterfingers. It's Operation the Wacky Doctor's Use Game. Battery's not included. Take out his spirits for $100. <laughs> oh, you'll never do that. Don't touch the side. Uh, Here goes his funny bone. It takes a very steady hand. I did it. That's $200 for me. May I play? Operation. A Milton Bradley game. A guy named John, John Spinello invented the game in the 60s. He sold the idea for $500, which seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. Turns out, of course, it was not. The game went on to be a massive success, and it's still to this day. You can see it at Target all the time. Poor John Spinello never oh. got any of the royalties. He just got that $500. Oh. I don't remember you getting money for Operation. I don't, I don't remember the money thing. I wonder if that was from... It seems like a lowball offer, 200 bucks for a spleen. Yeah. It seems somewhat I mean, black market-ish, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they changed the game over a period yeah. of time. Hmm. All right, well, that's the six at six. Yes, it is.